Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring guide video. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to find all the legendary items in game, including all armaments, ashen remains, talismans, and source raisin incantations. There's also one legendary weapon that you find, but it doesn't actually count as a legendary weapon. And there's, of course, legendary smithing stones and some other items as well, which I won't go over. Now, in order to get all of these, you need to unlock some of the hard to reach areas of the game, like the Deep Root Depths, the Halig Tree, Noxtella, the Moonlight Altar. But I'm not going to show you how to get to these areas. You can follow the quest guides linked in the description if you want to know how to reach them as some of them require a lot of effort in order to do that, so it wouldn't make sense to show you in this guide. Make sure that you've reached those areas first before following this video. Lastly, there is one missable weapon found in the capital if you go too far in the story, but I will tell you what weapon that is in the video. So fair warning, there are some spoilers in this guide. Okay, let's jump into the first one. The first weapon is the Dark Moon Great Sword, and as I mentioned, you can follow the Rani Quest Guide linked in the description, and at the very end, you will get this weapon as the reward. The Sword of Night and Flame is found in the Caria Manor lower levels. Follow the path from the Grace Point and drop down onto a secret room. The Grafted Blade Greatsword is a reward for defeating the Leonine Misbegotten in Castle Morn. The Ruins Greatsword is a reward for defeating the Misbegotten Warrior in Castle Redmayne, just before you fight Redan. If you've already defeated Rodan because you skipped straight to him, which you can do, then you can go back and speak with the Executioner, who's in the church just before the Rodan boss fight after you've defeated Rodan, and then all the enemies will respawn in the castle. So don't worry, this is not missable. The Marius Executioner is a reward for defeating Elimer of the Briar at the end of the Shaded Castle in the Atlas Plateau. Vault of Gransax is found in the capital city. Travel from the Erdtree Sanctuary Grace Point and down the steps and the elevator to reach an area with a large chain that you can jump on to get this weapon. This one is missable. If you activate the Giant's Forge and the capital will get covered in ash, then you will no longer be able to get this weapon. The Eclipse Shuttle, found next to the Church Grace Point in Castle Saul in the mountain tops of the Giant. The Golden Order Great Sword, defeat the Misbegotten Crusader at the end of the Cave of Forlorn in the mountain tops of the Giant. The last weapon you can find is one in the crumbling Faramazula, and it requires activating the Giant's Forge and burning the Erd Tree. Make sure to pick up the Bolt Grand Sacks before getting this one. Before doing this as well, you either have to kill Bernal at his shack outside Castle Stormvale, or complete his Volcano Manor missions. Once you reach the Faramazula from the Dragon Temple rooftop, you can head down and he will invade, and you will get the Devourer's Scepter and Blasphemous Claw legendary items after defeating him. Lutal the Headless, defeat the Cemetery Shade in the Tomb Sword Catacombs located in the Weeping Peninsula.
The Mimics tier is found in the Steel for River. You can follow the Rani quest line if you want to know how to get here. From the Ancestral Woods, drop down and reach a Stone Sword Key Barrier to find the chest with the Mimics tier inside. The Black Knife Tish, found in the goal on top of the Moonlight area, reached after the end of the Rani quest line. Defeat a Lacto Black Knife ringleader in order to get this. Redmain Knight Oga, found at the end of the War Dead Catacombs, located in the plains after defeating Radan. You need to defeat the Putrid Tree Spirit, which is one of the most frustrating bosses in this game, to get this summon. Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff, found in the Sainted Hero's Grave in the Atlas Plateau. Defeat the Ancient Hero of Zamar to get this one. And also, while you're here, just outside the grave is an enemy you can defeat to get the legendary Black Knife. It doesn't mention it's legendary or count towards achievements or trophies, but you can see there it is legendary colours. Clean Rot Knight Finlay, located in the Halig Tree, from the prayer room, head forward and down, and you reach it behind a knight in a small room. Flame of the Fell God, found by defeating the Adan Thief of Fire in the Malefactor's Evergoal. Grail's Roar, defeat the Grail Dragon outside Fort Farith in Caelid, then travel to the Cathedral of Dragon Communion, also in Caelid, and purchase with three Dragon Hearts. Comet Azure and Stars of Ruin, you get this by following the Sorceress Salant questline and finding Azure and the Sat. The guide on where you can get those and how to reach them is in the description. You can find Sorceress Azure on your own in the Volcano Manor, but in order to reach the Sat you will have to get an item from Sorceress Salant in order to unlock him and you can follow that guide in order to reach that. Founding Reign of Stars, found at the top of the heretical rise in the mountain tops of the Giants. Elden Stars found in the giant ant cave in deep root depths. You need to follow the Rani and Fire questline to the very end in order to reach that area. Mm -hmm. 
Rani's Dark Moon, found at the top of the Kelowna's Rise in the Moonlight Altar area after completing Rani's questline. Radagant Icon is found in the Academy of Raya Lucaria, head left outside the debate room and climb a ladder to the second floor. Godfrey's Icon is found in the Golden Lineage Evergoal just after the Grand Lift of Dectus. You need to defeat Godfrey the Grafted in order to get this as a reward. Radagon Sarsil found at the end of Fort Farith. It's not a lot to discover here, just a few enemies to kill in order to reach. Moon of Noxtella, found by travelling up to the top of the city of Noxtella, past all of the mimics, and again you need to follow the Rani quest line in order to reach this area of the map. Maricus Sorceal, to reach you must travel to the Halig Tree and reach the Prayer Room. You need to drop all the way down to the very bottom and use an Imp Seal in order to unlock this. The Dragoncrest Great Shield Talisman, from the Halig Tree Roots, travel to the elevator up and then climb a big ladder to the roof and you can drop down into the rafters and find the talisman in a chest. Erdtree's Favour plus two, then from the Forbidden Lands graced east of the capital and into the lake now covered in ash. And this is only available after lighting the Giant's Forge and burning the Erdtree. The Old Lord's Talisman found in the crumbling Faramazula and requires activating again the Giant's Forge and burning the Erdtree. So make sure you've picked up the Bolt Grand Sacks as well. Beside the Great Bridge Grace Point, head up to the path and go left to find the ladder and the Old Lord's Talisman. So guys, that is it for this video, the location of every legendary item in Elden Ring needed for the achievements and trophies. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more useful Elden Ring guides. And I will see you all next time. Bye.